Welcome to Skelly TV on YouTube once again. Yes, it is not left with 29 days for the World Cup to begin in Qatar and everything is building up as I say every time. Now Ghana will play last friendly game before the World Cup itself. Maybe they can decide to add another but for now what we know is Ghana will play the last friendly game against Switzerland on November 17th. I have the details here for you on this channel. Then the Black Star squad um, the provisional squad is not yet out, so we should just exercise the pressure. The FA may decide to release it or still hold it. People are saying that they should hold on to the list. Others too are saying that they should release it. People are saying that if they release it, it is going to bring a lot of um, you know, media banter, rumors, agenda. But you know, guys, even if they don't release it, the agenda guys will still be doing the agenda. So I think they should just release it for us to know. You will have released their squad. You will check one or two things in it. Then we will also talk about um, the GFA president and his entourage, the um, ESCO members. They are also on tour to give JCs to some um, personalities in the country and also media houses. And please don't forget to scan it. We are also doing a great work here. All right, guys. So let's dive into all these details and more here. Before then, kindly drop a like. Please like the video. After that, you subscribe if you are new on this channel. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates here on this channel. Let me know, also know what you think about it on the stories that we are going to talk about. And please drop your comment in the comment section. I'll be giving a shout out in my subsequent video. I have a lot of comments um, in my next videos. I'll be giving a shout out here on this channel. So quickly, let's jump into it and talk about them. Now, 29 days for the workout to begin, but we have about 26 days for Ghana to play against Switzerland. So Ghana, Switzerland is now left in 26 days. It's going to be played on November 17th. Um, the game will be played at Bahina Stadium, uh, Bania Stadium rather, in Abu Dhabi. So everything has started building up and things are going on. So I hope you've noted it. Abu Dhabi, Bania Stadium on November 17th. The time and everything will be communicated to us. And the game will also be shown live on Max TV. So let's put it down. Max TV will telecast that game. So everything will go on the wall. So that's the update on them. Now, Uruguay have also released their squad for the upcoming World Cup. And um, we have a lot of experienced players named there. The likes of Luis Chavez is there. Um, we also have Cavani, who is also there. Diego Gordon is in there. They have their goalkeeper, Muslera. And some key players that definitely we were expecting them to be there. They are all there. Um, Federico Reverdy, one of the most informed players. Even in the squad, he's the most informed player. And they also named Ronald Araujo. Yes, the Barcelona centre back. They are hoping that the player will return even before the World Cup or during the World Cup so that he can play. And unfortunately, we will play against them. I think it's the last first time. And I'm, I'm not happy with it. Maybe he will be back. He's their centre back best one right now because the rest are not really informed. So. They have named their squad, and I think it is a good squad for the upcoming World Cup. Um, our other opponents, um, South Korea and Portugal, are yet to release it to the public, but they have all submitted their squad to FIFA. That is what we know on that. Now, let me also take a little time and talk about Inyaki Williams. He is also back from injury. His injury wasn't anything that serious. The last game that they played, he has his last shot of the game, of which he got that an injury through that he played a very hard shot and um, he fell on the floor having some problem on the tie but hey, the player has been cleared and he will face Barcelona this weekend so Iñaki Williams is back and nothing really serious on his injury now the GFA president and his ESCO members are also on tour you know bringing the awareness and um, I brought you the itinerary before the World Cup itself and um, they have a nice rep, your JC, and a whole lot of stuff. So they went to the president of the land, his excellency, Nana Danko Kufado, gave him a replica JC. They also continued to the vice president of the land. They yesterday went to former presidents. Yes, they went to um, President of the Kunku Force residence. Then they handed over a replica JC to him. They also visited John Dramani Mahama, the former president, his excellency. They also handed him a JC. Then they continued to the um, chief of staff. And a whole lot of people, they are still on that tour, and I'm waiting for mine. So, <laughs> all right, so that is it on that front. Then I'll also finalize everything on the provisional squad. The provisional squad, please, it is out. 
not in the public but i'm um, there for already submitted it to fifa and that is that we have um gotten to know that there are some players in the official bloody and update if you haven't checked it out go and check them last but this video i've confirmed six players for you a lot of players are being confirmed so we are going to get it as time goes on so guys these are some of the updates that we really need to talk about going into Qatar 2022 and i'm going to leave you with a video that yesterday a friend of mine posted that is um malik sterling you can check him on youtube here malik sterling he showed us a video of Ghanaians in Qatar. they are over 500 he said that in that particular area they are more than 500 living there and they went to you know have some jammer session and everything so just enjoy it and we shall meet in the next one this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later <laughs>